Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be doing a super exciting video with my cousin Jen. You might remember her from my No Mara Makeup Challenge video, so if you guys want to see that video, go ahead and click right up there, right now, up here, somewhere. somewhere. <laughs> we're going to be using the Kathleen Lights and ColourPop Zodiac palette, and we're going to be going through our birth charts. We both printed ours out. I'm a Libra. I'm a Taurus. And so we are going to use colors that are in our charts and tell you guys a little bit about like us and our traits and all that kind of stuff. So if you want to see this video, then just keep watching. Okay, so just quickly to go over this again, if you guys don't know, Kathleen Lights and ColourPop released an eyeshadow palette a few months ago and all of the colors in here are named after zodiac signs and they all like pertain to zodiac traits according to Kathleen Lights. She has an entire video about why she picked the shades that she picked. She also just released a nail polish collection. I am wearing the color Cancer on my nails right now and that's all 12 zodiacs as well. So I was born on October 15th and I am a Libra. I'm a Taurus. Wait, wait, wait. I was born on May 6th. <laughs> this is like the worst day of my life. It's a rain in me. Hallelujah, it's a rain in me. Amen. <laughs> okay, great. I was born on May 6th, so that means that I'm a Taurus. Okay, so we're gonna use this palette. We only have one, so we're gonna share this one palette. And every time we get to like a new color, we'll tell you a little bit about what that means for like our personality according to our birth charts, which the website we use on here. Cafe Astrology. Cafe Astrology. I'll leave a link in the description box in case you guys want your birth chart too. Like it's like a legit, mm -hmm. it's like, it's like, you know, like a book report, so. Right, we're not If experts. you're into this, yeah. She's more, way more no. of an expert than I am. I know, like, expert. nothing. But I needed this because I don't understand <laughs> I needed something to read because I don't understand it. So all you have to do is you put your name, your birth time, your birth day, and your birth place. So it's really easy. So hopefully you know your birth time because a lot of people don't. But um, mm -hmm. try to find that because it gives you the best result. Mm -hmm. So I'm going to start by taking a little bit of concealer, and I'm just going to prime my eyes. I have no makeup on my face yet. I'm just butt ugly now. <laughs> I have pre prepped and I did foundation already. But I should um, bake in case fall. Shake happens. and bake. So we're just going to be doing our eye makeup on camera today and then I'm going to finish up my face and I'll be back. But I will leave in the description box all the products that she has on her face and all the products that I have on my face. I'm going to take a little <laughs> bit. <of these. laughs> I'm not an expert, but I do know that <laughs> your main sign that you figure out just by knowing when you were born mm -hmm. and what month is usually your sun sign. Okay. And your ascendant is the one that is usually different. So, okay. obviously you're born October 15th, mm -hmm. you right away you're a Libra. Right, right, right. So that's your sun. So that's everyone's my, okay. sun is the sign that they know. Okay. So I have two friends who are Gemini and then like everybody else is a Taurus. Really? Everybody else Taurus. is a Taurus. So my first color that I'm going to be using is Libra. It's this shade right here in the palette. It's a really pretty kind of like muted pinky brown color. Like it's pinky, but it's a little brown, it's but it's not. Yeah, it's dusty. dusty it's a dusty rosy shade. Mm -hmm. So <clears throat> so the sun sign, which she said already, is a sign that like everybody knows. That's just the sign that like you know you are because of your birthday. It represents vitality, a sense of individuality, and outward shining creative energy. So because I am a Libra, here are some of my traits. I'm sociable. I'm a somewhat intellectual soul. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I'm very approachable. And I try not to rock the boat. <laughs> she tries. She likes harmony. She likes yes, harmony. harmony. I like peace. I like balance. She keeps the peace. She mm -hmm. balances people out. Mm -hmm. yeah. So it's like middle ground, peace at any price. Mm -hmm. That's because the goal. She wants happiness and peace. Yes, for all. Yes. It says that I want to be everything to everyone. Um, um, um. I have a great need to be part of a group. I like to mix with people, and I look for partnerships. I like and respect justice, I approve of society's values, I'm level-headed, and I assimilate. So while um, she starts hers, I'm just yes. going to take Libra, and I'm going to take it on a Morphe M573 brush, and I'm going to use this just to buff into my crease. My, I'll do my sun and ascendant together because they're both oh, yeah, Taurus, yeah, so a lot of the qualities are the same. A lot of stuff about Taurus is dependable, mm -hmm. trustworthy, grounded, we're mm -hmm. an earth sign. That's well, I'm an air sign, right? Yes. Okay. Yes, yes. That's like a common trait you find with Taurus. I delight in the pleasures of food, a comfortable blanket. She does. I these, love. These are I very love, right. These I are just right like on. Being comfortable. 
I like being comfortable. It says that they live through their senses a lot more than the other signs, which is interesting. When we work, we work hard, but we can mm -hmm. also be lazy. That's another bad thing. Really? Yeah, I can be lazy. Mm -hmm. um, it says right here, when they work, they work hard. And when they play, they don't really play, they just relax, which is me. <laughs> I just want to relax 90% of the time. So Taurus are strong-willed, charming, tolerant, um, like pleasure, the good things in life, a little bit materialistic, like the arts. And oh, some good. of my weaknesses are obstinance, laziness, and stubbornness, which is a huge one, everyone I know. Because I'm a double Taurus, so. You're extra. I'm extra stubborn. I wonder if Aubrey's a double Taurus too. I feel like she was a double Taurus. I think she is a double Taurus because I remember I was looking at her birth chart and she was like, oh, how boring. I have two of the same. Oh, then she I must think be she... like me. <laughs> so Ascendant and Taurus, some of the same stuff. Slow, steady, capable. Stamina, staying power, loyal. We're loyal to a fault. Yes, which very, loyal, good very thing. loyal. Resistant to change. Mm -hmm. Yes, yes I am. Stubborn, fixed in their ways. Yep. Um, practical approach to life. Respond to the material world, which I no. do. You know I indulge in that. <laughs> um, Single-mindedness, like the good things in life. So that's a Taurus. That's basically, a that's, that's a Taurus for you. Yeah. We like the good things in life. We like being comfortable. We're a little lazy sometimes, but we're loyal. So I'm going to go in with a Taurus as my crease shade. And Taurus has a really pretty earthy, which is mm -hmm. expected, mm -hmm. earthy brown. It's a really pretty, like, it's a pretty brown though. Yeah, this is very a very pretty warm, warm. Mm -hmm. but a very good crease shade, so I'm going to go with that. What brush are you using? I'm using... Is it the same one I use? Morphe, yeah. M573? Yep. Oh, look at us. Which one did we get Morphe? the set? So that's I did. Why. It's a good set, right? <laughs> yes. I think I'm going to use Capricorn next. So I have two Capricorns in my chart, so that's a Uranus and a Neptune. So here's what it says. A Uranus in Capricorn is a great battler. She has so much power that one thinks nothing can defeat her. Her mission in society, in the world, means everything to her. And a Neptune in Capricorn is discerning, wise, and sensible. So, so pretty much Capricorns are the shit. <laughs> they pretty take much. nothing. They take no shit. <laughs> I'm going to take Capricorn, which if you haven't seen, it's like a really pretty dark black color, but it's got these really nice golden flecks of glitter in it, and I'm going to use this on a Mikasa E310 brush. It's kind of like a pencil brush because I want to keep this more towards the outer V. So for my next color, I'm going to go in with Gemini, and what's funny is because people laugh about how different Nick and I are because mm -hmm. our signs are opposite Taurus and Gemini. I think part of why we click is because you I have Gemini. Gemini in my Venus, which is about love. love. Yes. So, okay. I wonder if me and Nick click because I'm a Gemini in my moon. I'm sure you do. That's people who fried rice. You guys are always laughing. Fried we rice dinner once. We, just we did. We did go to, we went to lunch. I remember. Yes. That was great. You should do that again. You should. You should. <laughs> he would love it. Oh, the planet of Venus, basically these are, this is what it stands for. It's the interest in emotions and values, exchange and sharing with others. So it's like a lot of personal relationships mm -hmm. and stuff. Venus and Gemini people. We like talking and witty conversation, which mm -hmm. is true. Mm -hmm. I'm not always a big talker, but I like witty conversation with people I like. It says here, even those with their sun in Taurus or Cancer whose outward demeanor may suggest reserve and caution will want their relationships to be stimulating and full of conversation when you have your Venus and Gemini. So I think that's where I'm alike with Nick, where mm -hmm. we connect, because the... <laughs> you, when you look at me, I just... I Sorry, like, I won't lie. No, you can, but it's my fault because I'm not used to it. So pleasing Venus and Gemini involves supporting their needs for fun and variety and showing interest in brain power and knowledge. Give them space for friends and activities outside of the relationship, which I have. A t I do that a lot. Like So me, many friends, so no, busy. Friendships are just as important as relationships, mm -hmm. but basically Venus and Gemini, I feel like you just connect with people with smart conversation. Mm -hmm. and just, I don't know, good communication, which is a very like prominent Gemini thing, the communication factor. So that's where my Venus is, which is interesting to me. This is interesting. It's very opposite of my Taurus traits, but I'm glad I have it. Gives you a little... Give me a little oomph. <laughs> <laughs> so the Gemini color is so pretty. It's like a metallic sparkly gold color. So I am going to use that on the first half of my eyelids. So inner eyelids, 
to the halfway point. And to do that, I'm going to use a brush that's kind of good for packing on. So I don't know what this is. This is just an elf brush. That's it's an elf flat that. shader. Yes. yes. Yeah, you know what they're called. I got like seven of them. <laughs> I'm going to dip into that real good. Cause you, right. you, I have some settings for if you want to. She gets yeah. mad at me when I don't use enough color. <laughs> she just like gently touches it. I'm also not used to doing this on a mirror like this. But it's so weird. I love doing my makeup in little mirrors now that I do. do? Now that I've done like a hundred makeup videos and I always use a small mirror. Oh right, you're used to it. What it's so saying? hard for me to use like a big mirror. This color is beautiful. I didn't even have to touch that much and look how pigmented. So pigmented. I love color pop. They are awesome. Mm -hmm. Literally yeah. like... Every time I buy a new palette now, I literally go to ColourPop first because I'm yeah, like, because they're the best. They literally have the best mm -hmm. colors with the best pigmentation for such a good price. They really do have. And such we're not good sponsored colors. by them. I'm just saying. I wish I was sponsored. <laughs> hey, ColourPop, you want to sponsor? Yeah, me? hey. You can. Oh, that looks nice. It doesn't. Wait till you guys see what I'm doing with the rest of it. Oh, it's not going to be this, this, this uh, vanilla? casual. Yeah. I use water. vanilla a lot. I don't know why. I was like, are you vanilla? <laughs> I guess we're both kind of vanilla, are we? No, we're not. We're um, not vanilla. No, we're not vanilla. No, you're right. We're like... I ain't giving us credit. We're like crazy vanilla. Yes! <laughs> I'm going to use the MAC Fix Plus setting spray to give it a little more... Even though it doesn't need it. I just, I just want to do it. Why not? Hoo-hoo! While you're still working, mm -hmm. I'm going to start my next one. Go for it. Next, I'm going to be using my Moon Sign Color. My moon is in Aquarius. So your moon represents emotional response, unconscious predestination, and your self-image. So kind of how you see yourself. Okay. Where the sun is kind of like what people perceive you All as. All right, your okay. Outward vibe, where this mm -hmm. is like your self-image. I gotcha. Again, okay. I'm not an expert. Thanks, Cafe Astrology, for giving me <laughs> this knowledge. So my moon is in Aquarius. We're extremely observant, which is so me. I observe everything. I'm so quiet, and that's what I'm doing when I'm quiet. I'm just thinking. <laughs> I'm watching, watching you. you. I'm studying you. We're lifetime students of human nature. We love to analyze why mm -hmm. people do what they do. This often stems from an detached, shy personality, which is so... When I was little, I didn't speak. I was that shy. Huh. Especially in youth. Especially in youth, it says. I don't remember you being shy like that. Maybe because you weren't shy to me. Well, yeah. Maybe. I always knew you. So I, right, I, I didn't know, know you. At school. Like, I didn't go to school with you, right. so I, don't, I didn't see you there. If I didn't know, if you weren't in my immediate family, you didn't just like, speak, <laughs> pretty much. So in short, Aquarius, moon, people. Sociable, intelligent, and lucid. Um, thanks to great sociability, usually they have many friends. They're modern, original, inventive, nonconformist, and bring new life to everything they do. Which I'm not gonna give myself all the brownie points. <laughs> I, I do know a lot of people. I make I like making friends. Mm -hmm. That's where that comes in. It's funny because Taurus is so can be so reserved, mm -hmm. but this this sign for me is good because I like being sociable. Maybe. So I. They it's funny because like the so it's a different sociable than a Libra, right? And I can They're tell that it's a different sociable it's than a, a Libra. Uh -huh. This is the color I've been so excited to use. I'm so happy I have Aquarius <laughs> because it's this beautiful blue. It's almost cobalt. Would mm -hmm. you consider that cobalt? Mm -hmm. It is like matte, no mm -hmm. shimmer, mm -hmm. and it's just stunning. And I'm gonna put it on the rest of the half of my eyelid that way. It kind of reminds me of that crayon. I think it was like cornflower, yes. corn something corn blue. Cornflower. It was like a, it was like yes. the weirdest blue. Yep. I remember it because corn, yep. like I think of yellow, but it yes, was... I always thought that as a kid too. I was like, why is mm -hmm. it blue? But it was such an interesting blue. It was an interesting blue. You're right. This is like it was like dark, but not dark. Yes. Yeah. Okay. So I'm gonna tell you about my moon now, which is a Gemini moon. <laughs> so like she said, the moon represents how you feel like about yourself. So. I mean, it's, I feel like I'm going to read this and it's going to be like, I'm so conceited. This is how I feel about no, myself. No, you're just reading what the but jokes are. It says that Gemini is usually pleasant, witty, and charming people, which like, true. I guess that's me. Which, um, yeah, that's true. We can be moody and irritable at times, though, that's which okay. I like, I, I definitely am moody and irritable sometimes. Irritable. Irritable. <laughs> moody and irritable sometimes, but... I don't think I'm like overly, I don't no. think I'm that moody or No, not. you're not. You're, it takes a lot for you to get like, to me, right. in my opinion, it takes a lot for you to get really crazy, yeah. which is a good right, thing. Right, right. You're very like... I like that one. This is so not you and I love it. I love it. We're interesting people. Yeah. We have a finger in every pie. I don't know what that means, but I sure do that like means pie. That <laughs> <laughs> Open my fingers and all your pie. <laughs> I, won't even, I won't comment. You, you explained it enough. Okay. Um, we're curious to a fault and we're pretty well informed. It says we usually read a lot and talk a lot so. and think a lot. Which is so me, because all I do is read and talk and think. Like, literally all she does is talk. 
out and read. It says that we have a way with words and we're clever and witty and we're always talking to other people. Yeah. We're sociable and friendly. We feel super comfortable in crowds. We always have a million projects going on, which I do. I have she so does. many things to do all the She's time. She's always like, I'm filming this, but then I'm writing this, and then I have to teach dance, and then I'm doing this, and then I'm doing that. <laughs> exactly. It's exactly my life. Um, imagination is boundless. I definitely have like a super yes. imaginative... What? Imaginative. Yes, um, I can't speak any words. I'm very, like, I use my imagination a lot. We're open to new ideas, although decisiveness and persistence take a blow as a result. I am so indecisive. He can be like, what do you have for dinner? And I'm like, I don't know. Sometimes we feel misunderstood and our like short description is that we have a sharp intellect, we like literature, adapts to all situations and social groups, work in contact with the public, literary occupations, and travel. So I definitely feel like my Gemini moon fits in really well with oh, like yeah. my Libra traits. It's, it's so funny because Sun and moon, those are like the uh -huh. top. That's, yeah. that's you, pretty much. That's me. So she already used the Gemini on her eye, so I'm going to go ahead and use it now. It's this really pretty gold, like she said. Super duper metallic. And I'm going to take this on a Morphe M421 brush. It's just a little flat brush. I love this color. Look at you. And you were like, oh no, I don't think I want the Zodiac palette. I'll never use it. <laughs> what the heck is this? I should have just picked the papers that we needed. So my final choice is I'm going to use the colors for my Mars, which is in Cancer. Mars represents the desire for action and physical energy. This position, which is Mars in Cancer, inclines towards passive aggressiveness. <laughs> I wasn't even gonna read any bad ones, but that one's right there. I'll just <laughs> that was the first one. But I can be passive aggressive, I can. They resist change and shy away from direct confrontation. So true. I don't like confrontation. I just want everyone to be Does happy. Does anybody like confrontation? No, no. Some I mean, people, I guess some some people, people do. thrive off it, yeah, yeah. it, but I don't. The best offense is defense. That's what the <laughs> motto is for Mars and Cancer. At their best, they turn others on with their protective, almost therapeutic way about them, which is cool. I, I feel like I can be that. Sometimes I get really protective. Sometimes I'm a big baby, and then sometimes I'm like, who did what to you? And I want to like... <laughs> yeah, I, I, she does. I get very protective. Their protective nature is best expressed when Mars and Cancer natives are turning the energy outward. So we want to protect other people. So sometimes okay. when it's about defending myself, I'm like, but then when it's someone else, I'm like, ready. I'll, right. I'll defend yeah, you. Yeah, yeah. They must avoid oversensitivity, which is so me. I'm so sensitive all the time. Mm. In the end, Mars and Cancer, they prefer to handle situations peacefully and humanely. Mm -hmm. So kind of well, similar to Libra, I want to keep the peace. Right. Mm -hmm. Don't want confrontation. But um, yeah, I, I like that one. Because I didn't think it had much Cancer in my mm -hmm. chart. But then when I read that one, I was like, oh, I that. My Pluto means I have great sexuality. Oh, 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 I have a similar you one. Do you want to see my Scorpio one? That's what mine is, Scorpio. Oh, maybe we have the same What is one. it? Scorpio in what? Scorpio in... Pluto? Next page, top of the page. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Yes. Great okay. sexuality. A lot of mm. Okay, so the Cancer is a really pretty champagne-y pink, shimmery, mm, it's really pretty. Like, really pretty color. I'm gonna use it for highlighting. So my next color is gonna be Cancer, the same color that she's using right now. And this is my ascendant in Cancer. So this means it's like my self identity. It's like how I act, I guess. Mm -hmm. So this says that I'm a gentle creature. There's something familiar about me. Mm -hmm. I'm the gal next door. You Who are. doesn't wanna be the gal next door? Yeah. Here I am. Here she I am. Is. You she's, found me. She's here. We come across as caring people. We're queet. We're queet. <laughs> We're quite sweet and innocent. We're unassuming enough to be quite approachable. Cancer ascendant people are looking for structure and security in their partner and their relationship. Just like an approachable, nice person. That, yeah. Like that. I feel like it really like my ascendant being in Cancer really matches with like Libra. Like I'm very yes, yeah. like I feel like a lot of your traits like contradict and balance yeah, you out. Yeah. Like mine are all like they kind of very steady, which. Yeah. Yeah. kind of makes sense because like Libra is just balanced. Right. So I'm going to use Cancer on that same Morphe M421 brush and I'm going to put this in my inner corner. So I went ahead and I did my whole face except for my highlight. I am going to try to apply fake lashes. Will she be better at it than last time? <laughs> yeah, probably not. Yes, every you time I've tried to put them on since, it's been a little struggle. You should get the other glue. I know, I know you said that. 
What's the other one again? It's Duo, but it's um, like a tube and you twist and you brush. Oh, yeah. It's so much easier because you don't have to like yeah, squeeze. This one globs out. Mm -hmm. I hate it. Okay, I got one on. Nice, nice. Good job. I hate that in like every Zodiac collection ever, a Libra is always pink. So I have both ColourPop um, Super Shock cheeks that Kathleen came out with. I'm going to use on the cusp because fire is too dark for me when I'm not tan. I can't wait to use one. I forgot. Mm, yeah, they're so pretty. I've used, um, it's really pretty when you put fire and then you do on the cusp, like on top of it. Mm-hmm. Oh, I got them on. They're on. Pretty. Okay. Um, what are we using? Oh, which ones are they? This one is on the cusp, and this one is fire. I'm going to use What's Your Sign lipstick. Ooh. What are you going to use for lipstick? Ooh, let me go find one. I'm going to be using a MAC Velvet Teddy. Good old reliable. Velvet Teddy Velvet looks Teddy. so good on her, and it looks so dark on me. It's like terracotta on me, and it's such it's a pretty nude weird. on you. It looks different on everyone. I feel like I, I didn't want it to look like what it looks like on me. I wanted it to look darker. You wanted to look like what it looks else. like on me. Yeah. To me, it just looks like my, my own lips. But remember, maybe because your lips are so pigmented already. Yeah. My lips are pale. Like, it doesn't even look like I have a top lip in the video. <laughs> as soon as it hits below 60 degrees, my skin goes... <laughs> <laughs> I don't want it! This is such a pretty nude shade. I know. I love that on you. That's really pretty. On me, it would look like I'm gray. Nothing. <laughs> yeah. That it would be the opposite effect. Look at my red cheeks peeking through. I love the eyeshadow on you. Thank you. It really pulls out your inner Aquarius. So these are our final eye makeup looks. <laughs> We're both turning our heads in the same way because <laughs> oh, yeah. we have the same good side. I took her good side side. She did take my good side, but she's a guest. I'm sorry. She's a guest on my channel, so I'll let her have the good side, but next time I get the good side. I actually really like this blue. So if you want to find out more about your birth chart mm -hmm. and you're like us and you don't know really anything, anything. about astrology besides reading it, go on um, Cafe Astrology. Mm -hmm. I'll put the link in the description box mm -hmm. just for you. It'll tell you everything. Like you're going to get a list and you'll be like, what does this mean? It gives you a paragraph for each thing. Mm -hmm. so you understand it does. It. Because I'm no expert, she's not an expert, and none of what we say is like set in stone. We were just reading what it said right. and how it pertained to us, and I feel like a lot of the things really hit the nail on the head with us. Yeah. But yeah. yeah, if you want to find out for yourself, and if you're someone who practices astrology, that would be cool if you did a challenge like this and used it. I like to hear like yeah. what other like people. professional yeah. would do, like mm -hmm. people who know their stuff. Mm. I think we, we did good though for we not did knowing. Well. Yeah. We did too well. We did well. So I hope that you guys liked this video. If you did, be sure to give us a thumbs up and subscribe to this channel. Anyway, I had fun. I had fun. Thanks for thanks for coming on my channel, man. I'll be back, like she said. She'll be back. So, like I said at the beginning of this video, if you guys want to see our last video we filmed together, which is a no mirror makeup challenge, it's gonna be on the screen and it's gonna be in the description box down below. It's super, super funny. It was fun to do, and if you don't find it funny, then I'm sorry for you, but you can watch it anyway. <laughs> Um, and if you didn't like this video, I'm sorry again. <laughs> I don't know what to tell you. I hope that you liked this video. If you did, please be sure to give us a big thumbs up and make sure you subscribe to our channel. <laughs> I have a channel now! <laughs> and make sure you subscribe to my channel before you leave. My name's Alexis. This is... Jen. <laughs> Why would I make me say my own name like I'm a dog? I'm like... <laughs> my name's Alexis. <laughs> See, I knew that was gonna happen. gonna go to me again, sorry. My name is Alexis. And I'm Jen. My name is Alexis. And I'm Jen. And I'll see you next time. Bye!